All right, hi everybody. So I know it's been a while, I haven't been posting on YouTube a whole lot, but I just wanted to, well, let's just talk about that, you know? The world is so complex right now. I can't say I've been in a perfect place, and, and almost nobody is, but I don't wanna put content out there for you that isn't, you know, really valuable, you know? I don't wanna be copying somebody else. I don't want it to just be, you know, thoughts that I don't think are that relevant. And let's just be honest, I mean, I'm a student, and everybody's, you know, we should always be students, but I'm learning right now, and I just haven't really been in a spot where I feel like I can provide you with information that's, like, really, really valuable. There are people that I follow, which I believe put out really valuable information, and I listen to them, and, and I've referenced those people in my videos in the past, but... I do feel now uh, that I have some cool stuff to share with you, and so I'm gonna share that today. Woohoo! Um, and uh, yeah, yeah. So you might notice I'm wearing a tank top. You know, it's it's pretty warm. Definitely not in Connecticut anymore. I'm down here in Mexico in Playa del Carmen, and uh, it's a really, really special place. I would say um, it's just, I mean. It was negative one degrees in Connecticut yesterday. Need I say any more? <laughs> but anyways, uh, you know, what I'm going to talk about is environment. You know, how important environment is to the habits we develop and how our, our own energetic body and physical and everything relates to an environment and how certain things seem to be imprinted in environments and how they kind of push us in certain ways um, and just what this trip so far has meant to me so I've been I mean I'm here for for like 15 more days but I came down about two days ago um, but the first day didn't really count because I was up at 2 a.m. flying got here pretty much slept uh, the rest of the day I, I didn't go out at all but I got some sun on me you know and it's it's another beautiful day out there so just want to share what I've already been thinking about and what just things have happened. So, person I respect greatly and I consider a mentor of mine, Etienne Charlan, um, posted something the other day and he said, uh, if you're tired of repeating Groundhog Day every day, you gotta look for loops in your subconscious mind, you gotta look for timeline loops and these, these energetic things that, that you know, when we encounter them, we feel like almost powerless to change them. And I think that's because consciously we might have an idea of what's going on, but it's just so strong on the subconscious and collective level um, that we just, we don't overcome that. And we wonder why, 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 why can't I overcome this? And I think environment is a big part of this. Um, just to take my situation, you know, I've been presented with so much opportunity in life, and we're all presented with opportunity, to be clear. But, you know, I have a college degree. I have the freedom to move somewhere. I have the freedom to go somewhere, you know. But I've stayed in environments that just aren't the best for me. And I know they're not the best for me, but these things just push up against me and and I feel not very powerful to change them. Um, thankfully, you know, I'm down here and, and already a lot has changed, but the environment, say for my, my home where I moved back into after college, um, that environment has been imprinted with so many things, you know, from me staying there. And what are these things, you know? What, what was I not happy about? I was playing too many video games, you know? I wasn't eating the way I would like to be eating. I wasn't doing energy work as much as I would like to be doing it. And it was, it's like all these diversions, watching YouTube videos that don't have any value. And I'm not saying that you can't go relax and, and divert yourself, but obviously for me, those diversions were not healthy to what I wanted to be bringing people uh, in terms of valued messages and and things um, 
yeah and and really it relates to you know my vibration as a person it's like once i get to that higher vibration you know then i'll just automatically produce the content you know it's not just a question of let me go work to produce the content you know it's vibration energetic health then it'll automatically produce valuable content for you but it was like the second i got down here you know and changed my environment and started breaking some of these subconscious loops and not all of them are broken but it was like instantly i started to recognize and not just recognize but take action on what something was doing for me energetically so say i was in back at home you know i might recognize that this video is not providing me any value you know what am i doing this video game is just making me angry you know i'm losing blah 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 what am i doing you know i recognize that but i still do it you know and i think so many of us have these things that we we know you know aren't aren't great and i've spoken on this but we just stay trapped in the same loop now i look at that and it i can't explain why i felt you know these different feelings but it just kind of disgusts me when i see something that isn't aligned you know that isn't healthy for me i just want to do something else you know i want to go think about it i want to be with myself and my thoughts and like and really dive into why i need to be doing something or why this thing isn't healthy um and so i guess as a message to to the people watching this you know we need to look at our environments and and also importantly the people we're surrounding ourselves with you know I think a very strong subconscious thing for a lot of people is we think about the past like feelings we've had towards a person you love your friends you love your parents but is your environment are they reinforcing these subconscious loops you know the groundhog day stuff um and and let's also be clear about how an environment rubs off on people. I mean, if you are living in a low vibration place, you're going to pick up those vibrations. For example, last summer I went to Las Vegas. I mean, the second I stepped foot in Las Vegas, I felt it very strongly. And it wasn't just the 5G towers, don't get me wrong, you know. Those didn't help at all. I mean, being around those towers was like... I felt like I was like cutting myself but anyways you know you could just feel how kind of dark it was and so many homeless people and 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 people only can make a living doing sex work or or, or just these low vibration things and it's hard to get away from that and I just feel along with my own personalized energy field and how it interacts with it, you know, the United States versus Mexico is a very interesting dynamic. I mean, there's a couple things going on there. First, the cities in the US are pretty, pretty dead, to be honest. And the people are also dead, you know. Even though down here in Mexico, you know, a lot of the same negative things that I talk about with COVID still exist, although they are the only country with no travel restrictions, which is pretty incredible if you ask me. But the people are just, just like they just have this heart and and a greater connection to Earth or, or something, you know. And I think we could take the AI agenda. And like compare the US to Mexico because what is the US? It's a very technologically advanced nation. 
what is Mexico? Less so, obviously, you know? And so many people in the U.S. have hooked themselves up to the AI agenda already, even though they don't have the, the brain chips yet, you know? They've hooked themselves up to this agenda. And they don't... They're just, just totally disconnected from organic life, you know? And, and so what is the AI agenda, you know? It's wanting the AI to solve our problems, giving up free will in order for the AI to solve, you know, the problem of humans, you know, to hook us up into the matrix. And I've had friends tell me directly, plug me into the matrix. I'm done with this life. You know, this life sucks. And I just see that so many places in the U.S. And when I'm around that energy, it is palpable and it pushes me to plug in more to that and a lot of the things I'm doing although not not directly like a chip in the head it's like that and a groundhog day you know thing where repetition over and over again it's it's very similar to the matrix in my opinion because the matrix is is this fabricated reality that they put over your head and nothing really ever changes it's designed to siphon you constantly where you don't grow um and so i think that's i think that's about all i really wanted to bring you today um i am learning reiki while i'm down here um so stay tuned for that to be on my website um i hope you enjoyed this um and I hope you found some value from it. Um, you know, I, again, I'm, I'm nowhere near where I'm going to be. And, and it's really exciting to feel a lot of the changes that are already happening in my life. But, you know, clearly a lot more work to do. And I just hope, you know, to provide value where, where I can provide value. Because I'm just realizing that it's not... It's not just about money, you know, it's not just about whatever, it's about what can I bring the world that that is going to help it, you know, and I think that's, for so many of us, that's, that's not where we are, you know, and because even, even a lot of spiritual people I see, you know, kind of just, kind of don't really want to deal with themselves, you know, and, and the problems they have and they just want to make money they're not like totally ethical um i'm gonna be transparent with you you know i'm not perfect you know, i'm far from it um but some good things are coming the way all right all right let me end the video um i'll give you a, a this is my a view right now outside the beach is all the way that way but I'm about a mile from it there's my room it's a fun little place it's got a nice shower um, yeah it's a special place it's a special place anyways all right uh, I will uh, I will see you I'll probably be doing more more videos while I'm down here so God bless and uh, until next time